everyone! It's an event! An exciting Disney event with Disney Imagineer Bob Gurr who just did a whole long Q&A in there. And it's too bad that it's all finished and done and the Bob is done. But it's great that Allie is here. So this is, of course, the Sometimes Bob! It's a Bob that happens sometimes. Look at it, it's we Bob Gurr. We are going to teach you the healthy cartini Beverage. Bob Gurr, Disney Imagineer, who you know from before we did we did a whole vlog at Bob's house exploring all of your treasures, has been here doing a QA, you did a marvelous job, and now is relaxing with his favorite beverage, a martini named after you, the Gertini. Is it named after you because you invented it? Or, yes. Okay, so you invent, not only did you invent a monorail you want and an how, omni mover. Do you want to know how it's done? Wow. Yes, I want to know exactly how it's done. Okay. Well, okay. This is yours. No, no, no. Do we have to make done. mine in a cup this big, or can you make one smaller, smaller for me? Because I don't think no, I can handle that. No, this is the senior citizen size. Oh, okay. Cartini. Okay. So this is how you relax no, after two We're, we're going to go to the uh, adult size. Okay, the adult size. Now, pay attention. Uh, pay attention. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. What is this? That looks like some sort of green fruit or vegetable. That's vegetarian. You okay, said okay, the magic okay. word. This is very healthy. It's an ov ov That's an ov it's an oval. It's an And where does that come from? That come from the olive bush? The olive bush. Yes. The olive bush. Okay. They agree? Yes. All we right. Agree. That's vegetarian. Okay. It's yeah. green. It's a vegetable. All right. And, and what's inside of it? What is that? I've never understood what that is. That's that that's a little thing. Pa, that's a pimento. What the heck is that? That's a pimento. Does that grow in the olive? It's or decorated. Or they stick it in there? No, it's Christmas season. You've got green and red. Do you think they have a don't whole factory? Do you, you, you know, think they have a whole factory of people you know, who you stick know, those in there? No, you're not paying attention. That's okay, Christmas. you're right. I'm not. Okay, okay, there we go. There's the pimento, the red, pimento. Little red, the little red part there. Okay. All right. Now, Remember we've agreed it's vegetarian. Show? Yeah. All right. Yes. We start that way. Okay, we start that way. Okay. Do you want me to hold the cup? No, no, no. Okay, no. Okay, now just a minute here. Okay, what do we have here? You keep the ingredients in the refrigerator so they're cold. Ooh, okay. Now what is this? Martini and Rossi That's extra vermouth. dry. Oh, it's vermouth. All right, that comes from the vermouth tree. Is uh, that correct? I, probably. Vermouth tree? Probably. probably. What? The, the vermouth fruit. Yeah, the ver yeah vermouth. Those the vermouth. No, that's fruit. green. Yes. That's healthy. That that's is vegetarian. Healthy. And it's good for the environment. Oh, it's green. Okay, we gotta hurry. We gotta right. hurry here. We're being told we have to hurry quickly. No, no. you do not hurry. This. Okay. All right. You do not now, hurry what the you do? You take the vermouth and okay. you put it halfway up the olive. Halfway up the halfway olive. Halfway up the okay. olive. Okay. That's the way you mix it. All right. Don't no. Don't okay. get there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Now, what is this? That looks like a blue bottle here. Well, it's close to green, so it's close to vegetarian. Okay. Okay. So very still healthy. healthy. Now, it's the color you, of the clean sky. Yeah, but you know what's in here? What? Pay attention. Yes. Juniper berries from Italy. Juniper berries from Italy. Yes, and lemon peel from Spain. And lemon peel from Spain. Yeah, Why not? All right. The perfect. Cori coriander. I don't know what that is. From Monaco. Well, that sounds, that sounds exotic. Yeah, what well, it is. An angelica root from Saxony. What? I don't know where that is at all. Well, but it sounds no, sexy. It's next door to Saxony. It's really. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Then well, we, for some. Then we have, for some. Yes, we have uh, orris root from Italy. Okay. Do you agree? This I is agree. vegetarian These are, this and is a healthy. It's completely vegetarian, okay. healthy drink. It's been kept on ice. Uh huh. You will notice if you hold this yes, up. Yes. Okay. You will notice what you now do, you very carefully pour uh -huh. this material in as far as you dare. Yes. And you, I want you to notice something. Yes. At no time did we stir. No. At no time did we shake. No. Well, I mean, I was shaking a little, but I was nervous. We never got water near this. No. You waste the water, you waste the gin if you shake it or you stir it. And now there's no show business. It self mixes. Okay. It self mixes. It is extremely potent. Okay, it's let me for try. adults only. For adults only. Yeah. Kids, how long? Well, what is there a kid version? Don't, we'll work on it. Go slow and don't choke. Okay, now. This they, is the they, have, they serve this now in Club 33, right? You can order this. In oh, Club yeah. 33. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right. Bob, that tastes like pure gasoline, and I spilled it. Oh. You deliberately spill it so you don't have to finish the drink. Oh, Show us no. how a real man drinks it. Now you're gonna have to finish it. 
Look at that. Okay. Mom, you gotta go. You have to do you have to announce raffle winners. Thank you for showing okay, us the Gertini. Alright, that's all there is to it. I'll finish this later. Goodbye, Bob. Okay. Thank you. Later. Subscribe for some more. Bye. See you guys. Goodbye. So as you can see, Bob Gurr, very busy still, after hours and hours and hours showing up, doing a talk, a little presentation about Walt Disney and working for Walt Disney, then fielding a whole Q&A for about an hour or two. Now he's giving away raffle prizes. He's been taking a lot of fun pics with people. So a pretty cool event put on by hauntedoc.com slash fandomproductions.com. I mentioned it a lot leading up to it. I didn't want to film it and show it. Nobody was really filming it and showing it because this is one of those experiences where you come and actually experience it in person. But I did talk to Bob about doing a future Sometimes Bob at Bob's house. So I'm glad that Bob took a couple of minutes to run into the hallway and try to show us really quickly how to make the famous Gertini. Now, let me tell you, Bob was a little flustered and busy doing that, all crazy, because there's all these people talking to him and all this stuff, and he has to run in the hallway and do the thing really quick and all that stuff. I have to be honest with you, that tastes like pure, pure gasoline, and I'm kind of glad that I accidentally spilled it, because if he'd have made me drink that whole thing, I would... I don't think anyone would be safe to drive or do anything or think or ever make any rational decision again in your life. That is strong. Let me tell you, I don't really drink. People know that about me. I don't really drink anymore or anything like that. I'm of drinking age, but it's been years and years and years since I drank on the regular. But when I was younger, I was in a crazy punk rock band. We toured the country. We toured the countryside. And there were many, many nights where we were paid pretty much in booze. So there's plenty of nights where I have drank quite a few adult beverages. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, was unholy. So Bob Gurr, a crazy Imagineer and a purveyor of crazy, crazy drinks. You can actually order that in Club 33, the Gertini. Bob Gurr invented a drink that goes straight to your brain and burns your tongue off, yet somehow he can handle it. Maybe he just invented a drink which was so manly, only someone who invented a monorail can consume it without consequences. Anyway. We'll see more of Bob Gurr later. I am on my way to Disney World on Monday. I have Allie here, so we're gonna be hanging out. Hopefully I'll see you guys between now and then. If I don't, happy trails, everyone. I'm very, very sorry that the vlogs have been kind of scatterbrained and, and, and random lately, but I just finished editing a super good random land, and I'm hoping that it'll be up online soon. There's a lot of crazy oh stuff. There he is. Oh, Yay! No, oh, did you win that? No, no. Oh, no. I was gonna say, I thought you won the raffle. Like, we got the, we got the winners out here. It was a fun one. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Look at all these people are leaving. So, okay, so the event is over and all the people are spilling out onto the sidewalk. Did you enjoy the Bob Gurr event? How was it, Greg? Awesome. Was it awesome? Did you have a, did you try a Gertini? No, I didn't get a sip of the Gertini. Okay, I didn't get a sip of the Gertini. Thanks. Okay, thanks, no. for, thanks for telling us hey, about no it. Hey, no problem. Okay, so the Gertini. If you ever get a chance, there you go. Bob's recipe. So you now know Bob Gurr, Imagineer's recipe Ooh. for his secret Gertini. I gotta go back in there and find my party. Uh, yes, and wash somehow. I need Mountain Dew or Clorox or something. Hey, Brian, I gotta be honest with you. That smells like pure gas. That was pretty rough. All right, guys, try the Gertini yourselves if you're over 21 in a safe and responsible manner, and then let me know what you think of the taste. Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Or is that stuff seriously like rocket fuel? Let me know. All right, see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> This is Bob trying to grab the materials for our demonstration. A lot more thought and work went into this than you supposed, huh? Here, I'll grab it for you. He's making sure we have the perfect mix before we go make the perfect mix. The mind of an engineer. Walt would be happy. 